Well everyone, we've got Intel's X299 platform pulling off some pretty fantastic overclocks, as well as their new counter to AMD's Epic CPUs, plus a fantastic deal. Stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome back to GamerMeld. Intel's X299 platform is certainly no slouch when it comes to overclocking. Well, that and getting incredibly hot and not playing so nice with your wallet, but I kid, I kid. Well, kind of. The motherboards do seem to be having trouble with their VRMs, but either way, there is some good news for Intel's newest CPUs. A user over at HWBOT was able to overclock the 7900X, Intel's 10-core behemoth, to a whopping 6.01 GHz. Unfortunately now, he did do it using liquid nitrogen at temperatures of negative 110 degrees Celsius. Plus, he upped the power to 1.6 volts, which is absolutely not something you want to try, period. Please. <laughs> Either way, it's certainly still an impressive feat and shows the overclocking potential of Intel's newest CPUs, when they're able to keep them really cool, that is. For anyone curious, he used a Gigabyte X299 SoC Champion motherboard, G-Skill Trinet Z memory, and Corsair AX1500i PSU. But, and this is a really big one here, please keep in mind that just because he was able to do it doesn't mean you will, no matter how cool you get. Each CPU, motherboard, etc. is capable of doing what the manufacturer has stated. Anything over really isn't guaranteed at all and is purely dependent on your specific silicon. Next up, we have what at least appears to be Intel's answer to Epic, AMD's data center CPUs. There isn't too much here besides some graphics that seem to have been leaked by video cards, but let's go over what we have. They're called the Xeon Scalable Processors, and I've heard a little bit about these in the past, but we didn't really have anywhere near as much information as we do now. As you can tell, this sounds a little bit similar to what AMD does in their Threadripper, Ryzen, and Epic CPUs. And these graphics seem to pretty well confirm it. It looks like there's a 10% IPC increase over the previous generation of Xeons, and it goes up to 28 cores, which given the IPC increase, that isn't too bad, although it's also not really anything insane considering their last generation had 22. Of course, six more cores is nothing to scoff at. They're using the new mesh interconnect, like the one in the X299 platform's higher core count CPUs, which I actually discussed in a previous video, and I have that linked right here if you're interested. It has the same memory speed as Epic, but only has 6 channels instead of 8, so that could certainly impact some buyers' decisions. One thing I noticed that somewhat took me back was the massive TDP increase. And please, before anyone tells me, I do understand that TDP isn't power draw. It's just the closest thing that we have as an indicator of it from the manufacturer. Anyway, the strange thing here is that the TDP went up, and by quite a bit. You can see it went from a maximum of 145 watts to 205 watts. That's not a slight increase, and I don't fully understand considering it isn't adding massive amounts of cores or anything like that that would warrant the increase in temperature. Especially with Intel's push for efficiency over speed, but of course that's more when they're discussing their consumer lines, so that could be why. I don't know. Maybe they're using some new metric to be able to tell the heat and whatnot, but if you ask me, it's almost guaranteedly going to be higher power draw. The big question here when comparing Intel's newest CPUs to AMD's, at least in my opinion, is going to come down to price. I pretty well have little doubt their 28 core would beat AMD's 32 core Epic in overall performance, given the Xeons have decent enough clocks, of course. But I really think it'll come down to price. I do understand data centers care quite a bit about performance, but if the pricing disparity means you can buy two Epic CPUs for one Xeon, that's really tough to justify. Of course, this is also hearsay and we really won't know for sure until they're released. Either way, it's clear that it's going to be a very serious grudge match between these two industry powerhouses. Lastly, we have some really fantastic deals over at Amazon and Newegg, where they're selling the Oculus Rift and the Touch Controllers for $399. US Unfortunately, I believe this might be a US only thing, I'm really not sure if they're selling it for a similar price elsewhere. Please, for my viewers not in the US, I'd definitely appreciate comments below on it. Either way, if you're interested, I'll have affiliate links to those in the description. I will be 100% honest and say that I came across a deal at Tech Power Up, and honestly I normally like to, you know, give whoever it was I got the deal from kind of the credit and I'll put their link down there and everything like that as far as well affiliates. But I honestly didn't see any and the new egg link that they had didn't appear to be an affiliate link. At least it didn't look anything like my new egg affiliate link. <laughs> 
So yeah, I really hope you liked the video. If you did, definitely let me know down in the comments and let me know what you thought about today's news. Are you excited to see what else Intel's X299 platform can do? And what about Intel's newest Xeon processors? Are you a little bit more impressed than I am? Let me know in the comments below. That does it for now. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the round icon in the middle. You can check out the most recent video and suggested video to the left. Thanks so much for coming, and as always, have a great day.